Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today is uh, Sunday the 7th of May. It's the last day of Grace's Colour Along, so I will leave a link to Grace's channel down below. I have completed, oops, what was that? Something just fell on the floor. Two of the pictures so far for Grace's Colour Along. You've seen the one which was the... Uh, the one from Vampires, but I've also finished one from Jade Summer's Cinderella. So let's just put that there for you. Hang on, let me just change the angle slightly so you can see it better. There we go. There we go. Cinderella. Now this has, this was done with um, Prismacolors. I'm loving my Prismacolors and as you can see there's also some glitter on it. So if I just move that away there are several different colors on her dress and in her hair and even the prince's jacket has more than one color on it you can't really tell i just go in if you can see just on here where it's slightly darker that's two different prisma colors one was P P dahlia purple and the other was the, the darker color was tuscan red so it makes his jacket actually look kind of velvety so, yeah, finished that one yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit of colouring today, if I can find my pen, which I've lost already. I've already just uh, emptied it out of the bag. Um, this double spread page from the Time, Time Garden by Daria Song, who was one of the other people that was on the list of people for Grace's colour along. Now I'm actually going to use my black Posca and acrylic markers for the background, gold and silver for the stars in the acrylic in the Posca pens and then I'll put some glitter on the top. So I'm just going to chat to you while I fill in some of these um, great big spaces in between stars and of course then I'll do the little girl with the the Prisma colours. So I've just got to get this up and running. So I didn't get to do much colouring yesterday, other than finishing off Cinderella, because I went out last night. So we go out a lot sometimes, it's like nothing for ages and then we go out for a lot, a lot later. So last night we went to the a place called The Globe in Cardiff, it's a old cinema which has now been converted to a music venue that's better and last night they had an Elvis tribute on called Suspiciously Elvis I'll leave a link to the Suspiciously Elvis website down below so you can have a look if you want to and uh, yeah it was uh, very very good I did really enjoy. I'm just trying to get this on the page so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, at the moment I'm just using this really thick acrylic acrylic paint pen to fill in the bigger gaps and then I'll go around it with a Posca. I do like these acrylic pens. I don't know whether I'll finish it today but I'm going to try and finish it. If not I'll finish it in the week. So yeah so we went to see Suspiciously Elvis. So we did the whole Elvis in the 70s concert type thing which was really good. I'm quite funny when we go out because I don't really want to go out. I'd rather stay home and colour, I've got to be honest. But uh, I love Elvis. So it was a bit mm, to start with because you know what it's like. It's He was, he was good. He sounded really good. Um, I don't think he particularly resembled Elvis. He did, had the look down, but it, you know, Elvis is Elvis. It's very hard to be Elvis. There was just something un under the final about him, some magic. But saying that, who's a very, very good, very good singer, sounded very much like Elvis. Even my mum said he was very good. She didn't come with us, but I did video some bits and some of that is up on my Instagram if you want to pop on there and have a look. Um, now this is okay, I've, I have checked the back, it doesn't appear to, to be bleeding through, I'm pretty sure it will probably buckle the pages because it does tend to but I don't 
gonna bother me. By the time I come in to do any more of this one, it'll probably be done. So I was just wondering what you guys are up to. How are you getting on with Grace's colouring along? Every time I pick a page to put a piece to colour on, it's not but you can see. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do, as you can see, is I'm just going to do that and then get my black Posca pen and I will just go around the edge like that. So this is going to take quite a long time to colour because it's such a big expanse of what will be black. <laughs> There's not going to be anything else in there. It is just going to be black, apart from the girl. And her hair and her face. Um, I don't often use markers. I do like them. I don't like the way they bleed through sometimes. I have used them in some of my books and they've been okay. But that was before I got into, into coloured pencils. I really like the coloured pencils that, you know, I'm, I've got like my Prismacolors. So this will actually be, that's better, it's coming out now, the third picture I think I've completed this week. I'm not sure when I completed Vampires, I'll have to look that out, that might be this week as well, check the date. Um, because I've obviously, I did Cinderella, I did a Star Wars one for the International Star Wars Day, I'll just zoom out so I can show you that one, of Yoda. I actually bought the book specifically to do it. Let me just take out the paper. So the page behind is buckled um, and this again is done with the Posca the black Posca and the, the black acrylic pen with silver and gold Posca and some Prismacolors. I um, can't remember what colours they were. This was the Tuscan Red, which I really like. So I did that for International Star Wars Day, which I really liked. So. So yeah, it's lots and lots of uh, colouring going on this week because obviously I'm, I'm now on this one and I am just putting black down wherever I can get a big, where there's a big gap of it so that I can, some of the bits, are, some of the stars I can go around the edges with the big pen but the smaller stars I can't. So I've also been working overtime this weekend, Saturday I did five hours of overtime and today I did four hours, so that's, I've worked both days this weekend. So I'll just leave a gap there because I can't really go around that tiny little star, I'll use the other pen. Um, and this is just because it's nice to have the extra money in my account every month because I can, if there is any overtime, I can then buy some extra colouring books or reading books or pens and pencils or I can buy some film for my camera because it I mean like I got it I take a lot of photographs on the digital camera I film on and I I also use film cameras I have got a video the need to edit that actually shows you the majority of my film cameras not all because I've since I filmed it I have got a couple more they were given to me they didn't actually buy them so I do collect them but that's just because of the you know I need to to get on with it. Let me just try and tip this the other way. I'm just gonna put a cushion under this tip cushion so that we can see. So, as you can see, I've got my, I've even got cushions with cameras on. That's how camera mad I am. It's a, that's better. That's on a better angle for you. I do like to go out and take photographs, but I tend to do it more in the summer. I can take photos all year round. I just like... When it's cold and wintry, I just like to stay in. But 
This pen came in a pack of two. It wasn't over expensive, and I th it's not as good as the Poscas. I'll be honest. I think I like the Poscas better. So I'm just going to use the Posca instead. It's quicker. So, yeah, I mean, it is a lot of black. I will be using some coloured pencils on this as well. Like I said, we're using the gold and silver Poscas. Oh, somebody's doing tap on. And... But I'll also use um, use gold, silver, and bronze and copper metallic pencils that I've got either in my Prismacolors or in my Derwent tin. I got some Derwent metallic colours, so I will I will do the stars in different ones when I've got some of this done. I'm going to say about this acrylic, these Posca pens, it dries really quickly. I wouldn't want to use it. I don't mind using a marker on this, but I wouldn't want to use it. For some reason, I wouldn't want to use a pen to do all this. Because, uh, sorry, I wouldn't want to use a pencil to do all this. For So like I said, I've been working overtime. I've got the end of the week some time off. But I do have to go. I've got Friday off next week. And I've got Monday off, so a nice long weekend. But I do have to actually go in Saturday to do some training. Which is annoying, but it's either that or stay to wait in the week. So I'd rather go in on a Saturday. It's more money as well. These are, some of these stars are really tiny. <laughs> As you can see, there's going to be a lot of black on this page when I finish it. I'll probably end up using all of this Posca pen. I think they were... Got it in Hobbycraft. I think it was £2.80. And I got it uh, from there rather than Amazon because I really wanted it that day to finish. Uh... my picture of uh what's his name i do i can't even think of his name of yoda because uh of the black background i so okay as you can imagine yesterday i started work at 6 a.m and i finished at 11 and then I went out last night and get home till gone 12. And I was in work at 6 again this morning. So as you can imagine, I am actually really tired. See, these stars that have got the, the lines through them, I probably do bronze and copper. Or copper and gold, or bronze and gold. They'll be different colours. The block ones will just be block <laughs> colours. They'll be the Posca colours. The little what tiny ones though they will be pencil with a very fine point so it will take me a while to do this spread double spread it's getting around all the stars i'm not going to finish it today but i thought i'd start it because i bought the book in london but i'm not worried if the posca pen runs out because i can always order some more because i could just order some amazon it's just I wanted to see how many they had there. They've got quite a nice selection in Hobbycraft of Posca pens. But I won't be going in the week again because it took me an hour to get home because it was rush hour. Oh, my life, that was a nightmare. I hate sitting in traffic. It's one of the things I really hate. Because then people just start turning around because they think, oh, I'll go this way and then I'll make it fast. But it doesn't. It just holds everybody up even more and it's really annoying. And there's a lot of roadworks going on at the moment where I, down towards where I work, because they're doing junction improvements and they're going to be taken until summer 2018. At the moment, it's not really affecting 
travel time into work but it is out so normally it takes a long time to get in it's not really making much difference but it seems to be taking longer to get home which is a pain and I'm one of those people who cannot be late for work I have to be early I have a I'm a little bit OCD about it I would rather arrive somewhere an hour early than, an, uh, than a minute late that's just me I can't I'm not one of these people who can walk in at a minute two sit down and start I, I can't I gotta get I like to get in Get everything set up and I uh, have it all set up in a specific way. Everything, every window is on in a, in a specific place on the computer. I know where everything is. I like to make sure I've got my drinks because I always have a cup of tea when I work. And because obviously I'm talking a lot on the phones and some water. I mean, I can go and get a drink when I want to, but and I try not to. I'm not one of these people who takes a mickey. That really gets on my nerves when people take a mickey wandering around doing nothing when they should be working. Still. It's all good. It's a lot of work. I'm going in overtime this week, so... In the mornings, I will be starting at 8 instead of 10 doing two hours a day which will works out as eight hours because I'm not in on Friday so there'll be no overtime for Andy on Friday because she'll be sleeping in bed um so yeah there'll probably be a colour and chat on Friday next week because I'm off I'm going to the theatre on Friday night to see Newport Playgoers production of Dial M for Murder so that's that'll be fun i won't have time to film in the week i do have some videos that i can put up that are ready i have a flip through of a, a, a coloring book which is the um oh gosh what's it called the zodiac and pentagram one that's that's filmed and ready to go up I will try and film another one tonight if I can of I think the London book because that's a really interesting book and I've never seen it anywhere other than in London. I'm going to see if it's available. If it is I'll do a flip through. I have a couple that I need to edit so I might edit some, I might edit one tomorrow while what, and then upload one at the same time. Um, so I have two to edit as well as you know. So there will be videos throughout the week, it's just it won't be anything new. Well, it is new because you haven't seen it, but it's, uh, it's on my pre-film hold. So the, the reason I do that is I know that there are these weeks when I work really late or do really long shifts. And I can't... really i don't i just don't know how long it's going to be before i it's just too late to be filming it's, by the time i finish work it's at well six o'clock time i've had dinner and washed up and put everything away it's gone eight i can sit in color but it takes so long to edit a video and then upload it as well i don't know why one of my my what my laptop seems to edit really quickly my desktop takes forever and, and I don't know why yet the laptop it has an older version of the program on it I don't know if that's the reason but anyway so I'm gonna turn the camera off here now and carry on coloring and I will be back to show you how it goes on in a minute. So this is going to stop and immediately restart obviously with further bits on. I'm really tired so I'm also going to have a drink. <sighs> so I won't be long. Okay so as you can see I've coloured all of the background on this. It is curling up slightly but I'm not worried because I know as soon as I close the book and flatten it it'll be fine after a few days. And I've started doing this side 
with the black as well but I am running out of the black ink because I've used it lots this week but that's not a problem because I should pick up another one on the weekend when I go to town so I've got my silver and my gold Posca pens and I'm just randomly going to colour in some of the stars while we're having a chat so so I told you all about work and going to see Suspicious the Albus. I'm still reading. Um, I finally finished the Judy Garland book I was reading, which is good. And I really enjoyed that. Um, next, I'm currently, what am I reading? I'm still reading the biography of the Victorian supermodel Lizzie Siddle, which is really interesting. And fiction, I'm actually reading um, a uh, what am I reading? Oh, yeah, it's George R. R. Martin. Uh, what's it called? Storm of Swords? Swords, is it? Storm of Swords. I think that's the one. Yeah, I Storm of Swords, but it's part one because I had to buy the in two sections because of the size so I'm, I'm reading uh, part one steel and snow and I'm really enjoying it um this isn't something I would have thought of ever I would have ever enjoyed you know because it's like it's really fancy and I was never really into fancy other than Terry Pratchett's as you know but I really really like um the A Song of Ice and Fire series but George come on now Where's the next book? Stop faffing about with the TV series. You know, we've been waiting a long time. Well, I haven't finished reading the first lot, so it's all right for me. But there are people who are waiting a heck of a long time for the next one in the series. But there you go. So I knew I wouldn't finish this today, but I thought I'd have a go at it. So this is what I'm going to be finishing off this week. What are you all colouring? I love looking at all your pictures in the various Facebook groups. I'm in quite a few of them. I'm in Grace's, obviously. And Shaleen's and Jen's. And I'm in uh, Anxiety Art Adventures as well, because they're all really good colourists. Um, and then I'm obviously in some of the artist groups or I like some of the artist pages like um, Bennett Klein and Jade Summer, Lena Fennec and all those so yeah I mean it's great so this is a bit different for me because normally I just use pencils but I haven't used any pencils on this yet there will be because um, you know I will be doing pencil on the girl and probably some of the stars but I won't be doing them tonight because it's getting it's getting quite late to be honest and I've got to be up early for work but I just wanted to check in and this took me most of the day after I stopped and I, I went downstairs for some dinner and I watched an old episode of CSI Miami because they still show them all the time and I like CSI I, like, I love all three of the CSI's New York is always my favorite but then I've been to New York so then I've been to Vegas as well but I still prefer the New York one I don't know about Miami I, just, well, I never fancy Miami as a place it looks beautiful and the sunlight's gorgeous but the humidity for me Florida Ugh, it would kill me. It would kill my asthma. It would just kill me generally. I can't stand it when it gets wet and humid up here in the UK and we only get it like briefly. And it kills. But, uh, so... <laughs> somewhere like Florida. I probably wouldn't be coming home. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So as you can see now, the little stars are appearing. I'm um, up here somewhere. I don't know where I am. Where am I? I'm all the way up here. It's hard to know. Oh well. 
I just colour this one in quickly. You can't see me doing because I don't know where it is. It's really hard these um, double spreads of them because they're very. Oh, I'm over there now. Okay, let me just put it down there. There's the girl. If I do that right. Here we are. Yay! Oh, it's curling. I'll just hold it down so you can see. Uh, they're very difficult because there's so much of them to do. And even just randomly colouring stars. Is very, very difficult because there are um, there are so many of them, and some of them are just little round dots. Now, like that one, put a little dot in there, and a little dot there, and there. So I'm just gonna put some little dots on. These are just the little tiny ones that are just round circles, really. I'll do that with the uh, silver as well in a minute. So. so yeah, I just wanted to catch in and show you how it was looking. It's I really like this, so... As you see, I'm just... Dot, dot in stars. I mean, I gotta be honest, I really could have just coloured the whole thing black and drawn stars on myself and it would have been so much easier. But, you know. These big ones here that have got the lines in them, you see one there, and like this one, I probably do them in pencils and I think it's some really fine metallic gel pens or something on the weekend. So I'm going to leave that there and I will continue with that during the week, especially trying to finish off the black. Um, I will probably colour something completely different in the week. Uh, Hopefully I will be able to do another colour and chat with you on Friday or Saturday. Friday night I'm going out with my friend Anne Harrod to see... Oh, what is it we're going to see? Oh, die for murder. I might just uh, do her skin. Let me just get the pencils out. Oops, they're all rolling all over the place again. <laughs> so... Where's the colour? Oh, it's the short one. Of course it's the short one. It's the one I've used the most of. Out of the skin tones. Out there. Oh, wait a minute. So I'm just gonna. Color her in. This one is light peach, okay? And then I'll put over some like eggshell or something like that. I don't know what I've got. What's this one? Seashell. It just gives her a bit more. So you can't really see much colour on it because let me see. We go focus, 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 focus. Yeah. See a little bit of colour. And give her some nice hair. And of course, whatever hair we have now, she's going to have throughout the whole of it. So I'm going to go for a nice yellow. I think that one was it. Yeah. So. 
I know we'll put some bright colours on her suit. I want to write reds and things. I'll just put some on that colour. This one. Canary yellow. I like canary yellow actually. I think it's a lovely colour. So it really stands out nicely. Pumpkin orange. I just put a little bit of. just to give it. Nobody's hair is all one colour. That's better. So yeah, I've had to do it that way so I can actually see it. So there she is. Okay, so during the week I will work on the rest of the stars and her and I will show you how she is doing when we do colour and chat on Friday. I may not have done all the stars by then. I may have done them. It depends on how I feel. But I mean, obviously, I've still got all this to do as well. But it's quite a lot of, of work just colouring in those bits and pieces. So I'm going to leave it there. I know I've got another three colouring books that have arrived at my mum's, um, along with a play I ordered to read. So I will be picking those up tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to say that there's going to be a haul this week because there's not going to be. Um, what I'll probably do is haul all the books I bought in May and all the other colouring supplies I buy in May uh, towards the end of the month. So that's how my little girl from the Time Garden is doing. Normally because it is a book that actually tells a story, I would start at the beginning and work through like I am with the the Bram Stoker's Dracula thing, but uh, no, <laughs> I just wanted to do that one. So yeah, that's all from me for now and from Daria and the Time Garden. Um, I just want to say thank you to Grace for hosting this colour along. It's been a really, really good fun. Even though I didn't get to finish my Daria song, I will finish it in the next few days or over the course of the next week as well, starting some other projects. I do want to do some more in my Dracula book because I'm only on the second page of the story. I think I showed you this before. Um, I've just done the skies. So I'll probably do some work on that this week. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I'm going to be working on this week yet but because uh, I've got a lot of work to do. But thanks Grace for hosting a brilliant colour along and I can't wait for the next. See you all soon. Bye.